Oh, hey, I'm your man, John Perot, Levi James. And today, we're gonna teach you the EB behind the back crossover. You caught me doing the Mick release. So grab your jump rope, maybe grab your timer to keep yourself organized, and let's get busy. You're gonna start with the basic side swing, bringing the rope to the side. As the rope goes to the left, you're gonna bring your left hand behind and bring your right hand across in the front to make sure the rope goes to the outside. From the back, it's easier to see where your hand goes to place the rope properly to make sure that it swings to the outside. So again, you can see, bring your left hand behind as the rope goes over, and your right hand is gonna to go to the right hip as it comes across the top again. Now that you know how to pull the rope behind you, it's time to jump over the rope. So this time, when the right hand is in front, you're gonna actually scoop the rope up and towards your left hip, which will allow you to jump through the loop and bring the rope to the left side. Here it is from the back. You want to keep practicing that pattern slowly so you can get the timing to understand exactly where you need to pull the rope and when you need to jump over it. Now you're going to practice it with the bounce step in between to keep the rope moving at about the same speed. Make sure you practice to the right and the left so that you can enter and exit the move on both sides. Let's put all that together. The EB cross, the single side cross, and the basic arm crossover. The possibility does are endless, and it is a lot of fun to practice. So get out there and don't give up. So the important thing with the Mick release is obviously the release and the catch. It's gonna take a little bit to get used to, so don't be worried if you're gonna drop the rope a few times. I guarantee you, you definitely will until you get the timing down. The important thing is to understand what is the release and what is the drive. I'm right-handed, so I like to release to my left. I've oriented my jump rope handles to make sure that my release handle is on the left side, so it's actually easier to track as opposed to the dark blue handle. So when you see me releasing, you're gonna see me releasing to the left side of myself, the right side of your screen. That is actually my left hand. If you are right-handed, I do recommend that you do it this way. It's like this. We're gonna go side swipe, right, left, right, left, and just release. That's the first thing you're gonna do is just let the handle go and spin the rope on the right hand side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do four side swipes, right, left, right, and left. On the last left, that's where we're gonna let the handle go and we're gonna drive with the right hand. So the right hand's just gonna keep spinning as if you still had your hand on that handle. Watching once, here we go. Get that side swipe going, counting. One, two, three, let it go and spin. I'm gonna turn just 90 degrees here. You see what happens when you're looking from the side. All right guys, so from the side, this is what it looks like. We're still gonna go right, left, right, left action on the fourth side swipe. Right, left, right, left. Okay, so you notice that I'm letting the handle go off towards my side, directly to the side, not to the front, and not to the back. My right hand is gonna continue to rotate as if my hand was still on the handle. This is very important, because this is gonna carry the momentum all the way through to allow you back to the catch. One more time. Right, left, right, release, and go. Now you notice that handle stays sort of up in this area here. All I have to do is keep my hand out here, and naturally, that rope handle is gonna come right back into my hand. Watching again, nice and close. Here we go, guys. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, spin, and catch. There you go, magic. Not really magic, comes with a lot of practice. Make sure you keep your hand out, thumb out and open, palm nice and open, so as soon as you feel that handle come into your hand, you're gonna clasp it, except it's gonna be in this orientation, just like that. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, catch. Right, left, right, left, spin, and catch. There you go. So your hand is gonna be pretty much out exactly where you left it. If you spin it properly, it should come right back into your hand. Right, left, right, left, spin, 
and catch. There it is. All right, let's try it again. Right, left, right, left, and catch. Exactly, perfect. Now, from the front again, right, left, right, spin, and catch. Sometimes this may happen, that's totally fine. As you move forward, you're gonna find that the handle will come back into the hand as long as you keep going. Let's try it one more time. Right, left, right, spin, catch, and there you go. You caught the handle, well done. So you're gonna mess this up many, many times, but it's over practice and persistent practice that'll make it perfect. Let's try it again. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, release, catch, and trap. Let's try it again. Right, left, right, spin, catch, release, and trap. All right, guys, so you've got the elements to make yourself nice and bossy on your jump rope programming. That is your Mick release. I'm your man, Jumping Rope, Levi James. Stay tuned for more instructional videos, fun tricks and tips. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome jump rope videos and tutorials. And until then, guys, stay stronger.